Hello everyone, I'm the Nerdy Pool and welcome back to Legend of Grimrock. We will be continuing where we left off last time, which was at the very end of level 3, heading down to level 4. My understanding is there are still some secrets that I've missed, mainly because people have mentioned a crossbow that's on level 3, although I think what that is is that there's a secret with this last lever that we pulled, uh, let me try and remember the controls. There's a lever... somewhere here. When we pulled this lever, it opened up a bunch of small sections around the map. Just a wall here or there. And behind one of those is a staircase that goes down to level 4. And it's that level 4 area that has the crossbow. Something like that. But yes, there's just a bunch of secrets that might have opened up, but I don't want to wander through the entire level just to try and figure out what walls opened up we got basically everything also we don't have any projectile people so i don't need that crossbow so as it is let's continue down to level four and try and remember how the controls worked in this game <laughs> okay okay We're dead. No. Misclicked. Oh, you're dead. Ah, I keep... Oh, dear. Well, lots of mistakes happened. Now, how do I get out of here? Because none of that played out how I wanted it to. <laughs> huh. Getting suddenly attacked by enemies on both sides is not part of my plan. Also, they do area attacks that attack everyone with magic. Alright, let's put this key in and hope that magically opens that. It does. Okay, let's experience that the other guy's lost, but I can heal us all up right away and all is well. There you go. How are you guys all faring? Oh, right. We got the Tome of Health. Which I am still leaning towards my frontline rogue, because they take reasonably similar amount of damage to my frontline fighter. But then there's also the mage. Actually, the mage is... No. Yeah, the mage is pretty weak. Uh... Who all has healing potions on them? You do. You do. These guys don't because they're not usually targeted. I mean, I could... I mean, we only have so many blasts, so I don't want them all used up. So, no. I think I should have... Tried to use this healing potion when we were getting injured, but overall, I think it's fine. Not terribly concerned. Let's grab the torch just in case that does anything. Even if it doesn't, torches are always good to have spares of. So yeah, we've got new mushroom enemies that now do whole area magic attacks, apparently. Scroll. Restore energy, flask, and a blood drop blossom. Interesting. So, this is for health, that's for anti-venom, and that's a restore energy. So if there's I'm going to actually 
have one of those on hand. If there's a circumstance where we have gotten surrounded and my mage needs more energy, having one on hand would be good. Okay. I haven't been looking for secret buttons either. Gotta get back into the swing of playing this game. Nothing. Okay. I think we're good. No secrets that I missed. That was super wrong. Okay. Arrow, we don't really need that. Haha. <laughs> Missing two of our throwing stars. Should probably leave you with the spell ready. I know I launched something way down here. There we go. I think we had three though, so I think I'm still missing one somewhere. Okay, we've got a special lock here for an iron door. Iron door. Cool lock. <laughs> no obvious way to open that door. The catacomb. Beast gardens and menagerie. Time and tide. Trails of Thought. Oh, we picked up our other throwing star. Okay. And then we've got... Shelves that are currently empty, so I'm going to have to put something on them. And I do see these. Eternally imprisoned. Put to sleep. Cavern still echoing. Crimes forgotten. Alright. Alright. Beast Gardens and Menagerie? Sure. Oh, you gotta level up. I could wait for other people to catch up, but seems pointless. Let's get you a kick. Powerful kick dealing double damage. I'll take that. Okay. Can I just teleport back out? Okay, yeah. So I'm not locked in there. That is good to know. We got a button there. I guess I just hit the button. Huh. So... Interesting. So while this... Once that gets into here, it closes that door. So is this a speed challenge? No. So I have to stop that from either spitting or it getting in here. Can I shove a rock into this? 
No. Short answer is very much no. Do I just take a hit? Might work. There. Oh, it didn't even hurt me. Perfect. Okay, I could see an enemy back there. Possibly another one. Pathway over there. I do not like the darkness out there. There you are, buddy. care about your shield or your spear. Ah. Barely missed. You are good at dodging. There we go. move your stuff out of the way. Just making sure he's not dropping anything cool that I want. Okay. Got most of my stuff back. Hey there, buddy. Oh. Okay. Uh, still missing a throwing star. Dude, how many of these guys are there? We have a button here. Part of me worries there might be like an infinite number of them or something. Also, where is my last throwing star? Should have picked it up automatically when we walked over it. Hello. Hello again. Okay. There is clearly something going on. Walk down here. We've got buttons. My guess is I'm trying to get these guys onto those buttons. Oh dear. Hopefully not myself. Okay, sounds like I trapped one. Yes? Yes. Okay. So you follow me this way. Oh no, we've got more of them. Okay. 
Perfect. More level ups. So I don't know what that did getting them on those platforms, but it felt like a thing to do. Better dagger attack that goes through armor. And more willpower and another spell that I also don't know. All right, I'm not hearing any more skeletons moving around. We do have another... I'm going to call it a cage. I don't see... There's a button. Okay. So I probably need to trap one in there as well. My current working theory of why they just send me infinite enemies. Which I could use for just grinding level ups. I think. Uh, are they going to give me another one? Yes. Perfect. Follow me over here. No, no. This way. Come on, dude. Yeah. Good. Oh no. No, 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 no. I want that guy to get over here. No, you're both on the same side now. What are you doing? Thank you. Okay, that opened that door, and I don't know what's over there. Nope. Okay. Alright, our torch is dying, so let's get out another one. Oh, you are hungry. I can fix that. I was like, what is that symbol? But the rest of you. Uh, getting there. You're fairly hungry. Okay. Overall, that worked out reasonably well. And I don't mind... The skeleton guys are a little bit scary. Uh, I would prefer to be able to dance around you guys, but there's multiple of you, so... Probably not. Oh, okay, we've got lots of enemies. That attack did not travel as far as I thought it would. I just saw we had multiple of the flying enemies and wanted to hit them all. No, come on, this way. Okay. Nice. Why are you not walking forward? Is there some danger from stepping on this? Oh, it's a teleporter. I'm dumb. Hey, what's this scroll? But still dreaming. Sure. We've got pits we can drop into. Or a teleporter. Hey, flying dude. You coming over here? I am missing... One of my throwing stars. 
All right, well first let's hop down into the pit and see where it takes me. Oh no. It takes me to death. Got it. Okay. Ow. Okay, got most of them taken out, not that injured. More food. Teleporter over here, probably to get back out. These are different walls, so we would have a different secret button. Oh no. <laughs> I'm sure it still is capable of having secret buttons. I'm hoping it'll be something that stands out. So far, nothing is standing out to me as being unique or different. The other side of the teleporter. Okay. So we are down on level 5. And level 5 apparently has different walls. We have a... Is that... Yeah, I think that's a hole that we can drop down into. So probably... From somewhere... Oh, probably that central trap door that has the teleporter on it. So if we can somehow get that teleporter to go away... Then we can drop down into here to get the key, and that lever probably opens this door. I believe that. Okay. Well, cool. Where did this take me? Oh, I'm back in this room. Um, If I was a betting man... Thinking these scrolls might be what go on these platforms. Eternally imprisoned, but still dreaming. Put to sleep, but still dreaming. That makes sense. We'll try that. Might not be right, but it's a reasonable guess right now. So let's rest for a bit. Oh. I watched this dungeon being built. How old are you then? This dungeon seems ancient. But they took it away from my people and twisted it. Filled with traps and riddles. That is not how this place was meant to be. So we have some sort of eternal being here. Oh, hey the Shriek. Welcome. Let's go, I'm finally online when you're streaming. Yeah. Glad to see you here. So, I think Beast Gardens and Menagerie is where we just went. So let's try Time and Tide. Okay. Huh. So that's definitely a time puzzle, given the noise. Also, love having more throwing knives. I'm still missing a throwing star. Hmm. I lost a throwing star. Maybe on the third click we throw? No, definitely not.
There it is. Cool. Oh, it's another book. Well, I need to leave something here, but I want that throwing knife. So, what do I have that I don't care about? Maybe some of this armor I'm never going to use. I definitely want to figure out how to get in there. So we're over here now. Yeah, so that's the room with the teleporter in the center and the trap door that I think falls down into this central room. I'm guessing this will also weave around and connect onto there. Now I could drop down there and get my throwing knife. I don't want to. Yeah. Why not? Uh, yeah, no problem. Just make it to the streams you can. I'm happy when you're here, but you certainly don't have to feel guilty for not being at a stream. I don't know where the buttons are on these walls. I'm sure... They have to be somewhere. Or I'm sure these walls are capable of buttons, but... Nothing is standing out right now. So either I'm missing them, or I just haven't seen any... ...that have buttons. Okay. Is that a button right there? Oh, and it's another time puzzle. Okay. Is that... Let me... Yeah, that's a button. Oh, that is sneaky. Oh, dude. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Ah. Ow. I'm making so many mistakes. Uh, you. Uh, drink that. Thank you. Ow. Okay. Mistakes were made, but we're fine. For various definitions of fine. Okay, what did we even pick up here? Oh, it's just light armor. Protection plus nine, though. With a minus two evasion. Yeah, definitely switch this. Hurts my evasion less and gives more protection. So I still, I now have a positive evasion. Not great, but positive and much better protection. Now we're in a different room on level five. Yeah. Don't know what the secret buttons on this floor look like. Oh, are we back to here? Okay. Cool. I'm hearing noises.
All right, I think that's basically everything. Well, there should be some way to open this up, I would think, to get over there. Or maybe from over there to get over to here. Who knows? Don't know. Well, let's teleport back to the top. And then try and resurrect our friend. I think... Was this the way back towards... Yeah. Head back this way. Get back up to the life crystal. Like, yeah, people keep dying, but... I'm making it through easily enough. So, do I follow this path where it intends? I think I'll follow the path where it intends. And then maybe we'll try that other path later. Uh. Oh no. Well, that was obviously wrong. Okay. There must be another button that opens up that area here. Because those didn't close. And yeah, that's a door, not just a wall. That doesn't show up as a door, actually. That just shows up as a wall. Versus that clearly is labeled as a door. Anyway. Uh, how do I get out of here? Behind me. Yeah, you can definitely hear some, like, ooze, maybe? Noise? Alright, let's head back in here. So I'm guessing there's another secret button. No, wait. Uh, you're... They threw an enemy there. Really? Meanwhile, my characters have broken legs or whatever. <laughs> okay, what am I missing? So, we followed this around. I went that way, and I've also gone this way. Somewhere on this path, I think there's got to be a secret button that will let me through one of these or open that door. Something. Let's do a quick rest again. Oh, we're all healed. Probably going to take me a few more tries. We've got the button there that I've already hit that opened up that side passage. Oh, good. Yes, come over here and fight me. Here, no. Please. Over here. I would much rather fight you... ...here on solid ground. Oh, come on. Because it could be anywhere there and just block my path. Uh. Yeah, no button. Well, hopefully I did damage to it. <laughs> oh 
Come on. Fight me here. There we go. It is now taken care of. Can you stand in between the platforms that fall down? Uh, no. So... This game is grid-based. So I can only walk in solid grids. So there's no way to stop between grids. That's the challenge. But we did manage to kill that creature that time. So now it won't block my path. I don't suppose that putting something on here and leaving it held down will work. I don't think so, because I think we stood on it. Yeah. I'm going to walk along and keep an eye on the walls looking for secret buttons. Nope. I feel like there's got to be a secret button. There's got to be. I mean, I can try hitting the secret button we saw here again. That. But that just closes that door. Then we get to the end. <laughs> huh. Wait. Did I get turned around? Yes, I did. We were wanting to go this way. Hmm. What could I possibly be missing? I mean, it's just like them to put a secret on a platform that you've got to jump off of quickly. And I would guess it'd be in that side path. Oh, there's a pressure plate here. There we go. All right. Got it. This way? Yes. Now we're good. Didn't notice that pressure plate at first. No, we're good. Uh, oh, I didn't realize I just killed my mage. That's awkward. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, we can take care of that. That's what life crystals are for. There we go. Good as new. <laughs> Uh, you should probably heal the character at the bottom right next time you fall. We'll run out of HP. Yep, should have read that a little touch sooner, it seems. But we're good. Totally good. Alright. I think now we've got it. I just didn't notice that pressure plate that was on the other side of... Oh. Yeah, see, now it's open. There we go. Um, I'm going to replace that with, say... Uh, no, actually, the helmet. And then we will take our throwing knife. And our throwing star. There we go. Nice. Toss down a quick save. And here we are, another scroll. Uh, but never forgiven. Yeah, I think... We've got... Little messages that we're 
supposed to be putting... Hello, button. I see you over there. Are there buttons elsewhere? No. Huh. Where are we? We're here. I'm gonna mark... here... that we have a button. Can I hit him with a spell from here through the teleporter? Yes, I can. Nice. I would rather him not be here. I can't attack. Like, my throwing weapons will just get teleported out. But magic, apparently, is fine. Nearly got him. Although, we're almost out of energy. This is apparently not doing as much damage as I was hoping it would. Okay, let's do a quick rest. To get your energy back. And it'll be cool if the mage is the one that kills this enemy, because the mage has been falling behind on levels. Hopefully he didn't heal up while we rested, because that would be awkward. Nope, there we go. And most of that experience should have gone to our mage.